Hi, this is Gary, and I've made a lot of videos recently, but this one might be one that's really useful, actually. Um, so I try to keep it brief, but the, the subject matter might actually be pretty important and helpful if you're authentically interested in it, um, I'd be happy to talk more about it. Uh, feel free to, if you have any questions about any of this, you can email me at Gary Shoots. that's G-A-R-Y. S C H U E T is in Thomas Z as in zebra at gmail.com. Now the first part of this video is going to be a little controversial, and it's not what it's really about. It's just a little bit of background and context to help you give to get a better idea of what motivated me and, and what came to my attention. This whole thing. So here we go. I call this. <clears throat> Jual Cool's Magical Elixir. And here it is. I'm going to go into much more detail, but it's right there. There's other things we're going to discuss. But that's the intro here. Now, this is Ascended Master Jual Cool. Do I believe that that's really Jual Cool? I should point out, when you ask me if I believe something, it's kind of weird for me because it's not like I believe in anything um, blindly. It's, I guess you could say that I work with, as you know, using like a working hypothesis at all times. As a betting man, in a Vegas betting man, how hard would I bet on this being being real? Really, really hard, and I've got... <laughs> I've got some, uh, the source of my information is just so rock solid, it's almost, like, it's almost pointless to try to argue with me on this. I try not to be stubborn, I try to be as open-minded as I can, believe me, but I really, uh, it'd be really hard to, to change my mind about this. But, I'm fluid, and if I am wrong, it's fine. Now, to continue, and utilizing that same information base I come from. And I am a truth seeker and a truth speaker. Make no mistake about that. Blavatsky. Highly controversial. Who's that? Some of you might say. Some of you might say, oh, that woman. To all cool channel through her uh, around 1875-ish. Give or take some time there. High-level initiate, I'm told. Later, and even more controversial, yes, Alice Bailey was the best channel that Jawal Cool could find. I'm not trying to say anything positive or negative about Alice Bailey, and I know that for some of you, maybe your skin's crawling as you think, look, she's wrong and she's manipulating around something, but the information source that I have and I'd be happy more to talk more about that as well. Again, you can email me. It tells me that no. And if you read the works, if you really just read the works and, and just throw all that crap out the window, it's nuts, man. It's so profound. It's so it's so cool. And if you're inter if you're interested in astrology, like really interested, that's where you go. Esoteric astrology. Joel Cool through Alice Bailey. I'm telling you, man. It's awesome! Alright, now, what's the point? Why am I saying all this? Well, actually, one last thing I want to say. This is kind of a side note. But this picture of Blavatsky. These are Ascended Masters here. Now, this picture, the origin of this picture, I've thought about this a lot. and I have to say, I really think it's authentic. And that is Ascended Master Saint Germain, who I've become interested in recently. And I believe that he channels presently through a few sources, but one of them is the beautiful Aruna Byers. Now, getting back to Jual Cool, I believe that one of his channels that he presently works with is the beautiful Terry Newland. And it's through Terry Newland, reading uh, weekly articles from Terry Newland, that I learned about what I call Jual Cool's magical elixir. Now, what is that? Well, 
I guess it started off after reading an article or two. And he was he likes to talk about vitamins and stuff. And I know that sounds crazy, but the dude is so wicked smart you have no idea. Alright. CoQ10. Some liquid colloidal minerals. Some MSM, which is a sulfur. There's some three major components right there. Those components alone supposedly can increase the radius of your auric field by 40 feet, or whatever that's worth, right? But I thought, that sounds fun. So I was doing, <laughs> let's do that. Then recently, he's been talking a little bit more about these things. Colloidal silver. I know, this is controversial too. Look, it's pretty safe. Just take what they, <laughs> what they recommend. You'll be fine. In fact, I have a sense that there's been some negative campaigning against colloidal silver because it's really awesome, is what it is. And that's the deal. Finally, and this is new, this just came in today. For me. Iconitum napellus. Also known as wolf's bane. All right. And then there's one other thing that Joalcool really recommends. And if you've seen the movie, um, called What the Bleep Do We Know, there's this scene where the Zen monk blesses water, and he shows the difference. They use a special camera and show how the water changes as a result of his blessings, or words even, negative words that are pasted on the, on the, on the water receptacle. Joel Kuhl has has mentioned this uh, phenomena and recommended a particular apparatus. The, the person who was involved in that movie is behind this apparatus, as I understand it, and it's it's kind of expensive. It might take a kid all summer mowing grass to afford one of these. It looks super simple. I decided to get it after reading about it. I just thought I couldn't handle it. I had, you know, I want to get involved with that because I want to feel good. All right. I want to feel good, so I want to do everything I can to feel good. This shows how water can be, and it often is. But then, after you spin it around in a vortex, or bless it, but really spin it around and around until it regroups itself and becomes group, imagine group consciousness and group orientation on a microscopic level. It becomes organized. And when it does, if you, if you ingest that, it changes the way that your blood cells deal with the water and there's an entire booklet on this that talks about all the different ways that this helps. And it, it might be like ma pure magic. And here's how it works, basically. This device is a very high-level device, by the way. It looks simple. It looks like it's just a, a big, you know, pitcher of water sitting on a blender. But there's nothing in there that moves around, is there? No, oh, look, nothing at all. But, and I had to think about this for a while because it blew my mind. When you do something here, this water's going to start spinning around. I hope you can hear me okay. The water's going to create a vortex. It's going to spin around, and all of the molecules are going to start to organize themselves. And become hex The water molecules become hexagonal in shape. Like a snowflake. Now, there's three settings you can have for this. And I find the numbers very interesting, because I'm interested in numerology. You have the 9-minute option, the 18-minute option, and the 27-minute option. All three, if you look at it from a numerological standpoint, add up to 9, which is the number for completion. 9, 18, 1 plus 8 is 9, and 27. 2 plus 7 is 9. Completion. You have three choices. You can either do the 9-minute version. Supposedly, that's all it takes to get the water to look like this. But I like to do 18 minutes. I figure, you know, they have three options. Let's do 18, and it's the number for courage anyway, and uh, maybe you can go on and on and on about numerology. This video is not about numerology, so I'll leave it at that. Here's how it works. But feel free to talk to me about it, anything. All right, so we're creating some hexagonal water, and we're looking forward to it. 
So we're just going to go back really briefly through what is Dualcool's magical elixir. Ultimately, it's hexagonal water. I don't think I made that crystal clear yet, but that's part of it. Hexagonal water, liquid colloidal minerals, CoQ10, MSM, colloidal silver, and Wolvesbane. Aconitum, Napolis. Now again, this is the title of Dualcool's Magical Elixir. That's my thing. I made that up, but I'm pretty sure this stuff's awesome. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help. Yeah. Alright, now I have added to this, there's things that I think is helpful to have. There's a few things I also take, and I wanted to talk about them briefly. B vitamins, a multi-B, especially if you get really stressed out a lot. I think it's really helpful for me. D, the God vitamin. Especially if you don't get sun all the time, which I don't. Kelp. Why? Because there's iodine in it. What's the deal with iodine? Don't we get that through salt? You know what? If you think about it, how much salt do you necessarily get every day? The kind that you know that you get from the shaker or whatever. I was, you know, doing some just some creeping about. Iodine is one of the things that human body can't produce by itself. So I thought, you know what? Even though it's in the multi, or claims to be in the multi, I've got some kelp. You know, kind of just a CYA, which, if you don't know what that stands for, then send me an email. Garlic. It supports cardiovascular health, and it's cholesterol's natural enemy. I have some issues with, you know, low-density fats and stuff. It makes sense to me. Obviously, again, the, the multi. I was sold on this the other day, but I've heard good things about probiotics. Got that. I have to have digestive issues all the time anyway, so it's good. And then finally, calcium, because I know that I'm not getting the, the, the recommended allotment. All right, now I'm going to tie this all up real quick, but I wanted to point out something really interesting for me. If you isolate a couple things here. The silver, the garlic, and the wolf's bane. All right? This is anti shapeshifter, anti shapeshifter, and uh, anti vampiric. Do I believe in, in werewolves and vampires? The answer is surprisingly, essentially, yes. <laughs> I do. Not exactly, probably, the way that you might be thinking. Not werewolves, as you might be thinking, but I do believe that you can uh, get involved in some really weird stuff and invoke some really weird uh, results or evoke, or just make some really weird stuff happen. I think I could, if anyone's interested in that topic, which I'm not recommending any kind of real interest in that topic, uh, you could watch a movie or a documentary called Interview with an Ex-Vampire. It's, uh, I believe there's nine DVDs in it. I used to own it. Very interesting stuff. Um, but to break it down into something useful, the silver basically goes after stuff like viruses and stuff. And a lot of times viruses have like um, an inorganic corollary component, an uh, inorganic, like an extra dimensional aspect to it that this works on. Um, this, the wolf's bane, according to Joel Poole, what it does is it takes, it goes to, at a cellular level, it, it takes the, the terror out of your cells. Fear and terror, it takes it out of your cells. And then garlic, you know, you know even if it's just going to help me with my cholesterol, that's fine. But I'm guessing there's something to a lot of those old wives' tales. And uh, I think that vampirism exists in all kinds of different ways. Anyway, I hope this was helpful uh, in some way. I enjoyed it. Our, our hexagonal water is coming right up. We've got the beautiful Terry Newland. We've got me talking about vitamins and stuff. Me talking about Joel Cool, right? I guess that's it for now. Again, if you have any questions or if you want to talk about any kind of topics that relate to this, 
feel free. Uh, you can email me anytime you want to. My name is Gary Shoots. G A R Y S C H U E T Z at gmail dot com. I'm not real into like negative arguments and stuff, and, and you know, break it down, break it down, down. But I'd be happy to share what what I got, and I'd be happy to hear what you got. All right. I wish you very well, and I thank you. Have a great night.